and falling on my head. What a track. Bert Bacharach, one of the greatest songwriters of the 20th century, has sadly died aged 94. And how good was that? Remember the movie? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Ali McGore, I think. Um, she, and they were riding on a bicycle. It takes me back. Dickie, um, it's a sad loss, but what a legacy. What an incredible legacy. Mm. Look, quite simply, he wrote songs that our grandparents sung along to, our parents did, we do, our kids will, our, our grandkids yeah. will, will sing along to these songs. They'll feature in movies for years to come, and, um, you know, they're just timeless music, timeless songs. And, of course, his collaboration with Hal David, the lyricist, much... Much in the way that, uh, Elton, that Elton John and Bernie Taupin wrote together. You know, Bernie writes the lyrics, sends it off to Elton, Elton sits down, tiny dancer, OK, what do we do with this? Yeah. <laughs> Same with Bert Bacharach. He just put these beautiful, timeless melodies and wonderful chords and instrumentation behind these lovely lyrics. And they were brought to life across the generations, as you said. Yeah. It's hard to pick a favourite because there were so many, but is there one that stands out for you? It's all those wonderful songs with Dion Warwick, you know, a say a little prayer. I yes, mean. how good. Have, have a listen to this. Song to sing to. Doesn't get any better yeah. than that. Yeah, with how, in how David he had his lyricist and, and in Dion Warwick they found their voice. Imagine. Such mm. a beautiful, pure Beautifully voice. said. 37 hits I think she mm. had. In fact, he was supposed to do another album with her and he, he didn't for one reason or another, so she sued him. Oh, really? She <laughs> said, if he stops writing, I've got nothing to sing. <laughs> All's well that ends well. <laughs> yeah. They got back together, but yeah, they fell out a bit. You've, um, you have had um, the pleasure of sitting down with him. What, what was that like? It was great. I think I, I seem to recall sitting down opposite him at, on stage at the Sydney Opera House with his piano there when he was on tour and at his home uh, in the States. And, um, you know, he just, it's one of those lovely interviews that we all love doing where, where yeah. an artist is sitting out the piano and you ask him about a song and he just sort oh, of goes into it a little bit. What an experience. Bit. Yeah, very, very, very blessed. But a, a lovely man, full life, four marriages and countless songs that we'll be singing along to today and forever. Absolutely. And as Dickie so eloquently pointed out, as we go to break, just think of this, the songs your grandparents made love to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about that. Oh. All the girls in town. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our <laughs> YouTube channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. that never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?